Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. So today I wanted to film this very easy, simple makeup look. Like there's no wing, there's no false lashes. This is all just mascara, eyeshadow, you know, that kind of stuff. And then this also super easy but fun hairstyle. Um, I just wanted to give you guys some options. I know summer can get a little hot and um, you don't want to do as much, but I just always feel, I feel better if I have a little bit going on. So. Maybe this can inspire you to do something of your own. Let me know below what you would like to see makeup wise. I just thought this would be a fun one. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. Let's get on to the video. All right, let's get started. So I have already moisturized. I used the Redefine by um, Rodan and Fields. It has 30 broadband spectrum SPF and it's really moisturizing. So I'm loving it as like my daytime moisturizer. And I'm going to use the Unique Foundation in the shade Taffeta. This is the Mineral Touch Liquid Foundation. I'm going to be totally 100% right now. Um, I wish I would have got BB Cream. BB Cream just works better for me in summer. So I am struggling a little bit. So I just put a little bit on my finger and dot it around my face. I'm looking rough today. Rough, rough. Okay, then I'm going to take my beauty blender and just blend it in, and yeah, it's just not giving me all the coverage that I would like it to give me, but I go in with a powder foundation too, so it ends up alright. I wish I would have got the BB cream. Which sounds kind of funny because BB creams usually have less coverage, but for some reason, it just does good on my skin. Sorry, I'll keep looking at the mirror over here. And at myself in the finder. I am an amateur at this. Make sure you blend down your neck. Okay. And then concealer, I'm gonna take my Maybelline Age Rewind. I'm actually gonna use two concealers because I've been looking so tired <laughs> lately. I am so tired lately. And like today, last night, I drank coffee late. It was dumb. So I was up late. And then like 5 a.m., ring ring, Mandy wakes up. What the heck, why? Go back to sleep. And I cut it. So right now it is currently 7 a.m. <laughs> I'm filming this because I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna film a video. I'm gonna make it a productive time. I already read my Bible. I already read some of my book. And it's like I'm still got some time before the kids get up. Let's film a video. So coming at you out of my need to be productive. Um, I'm gonna use. I'm not gonna use two concealers. Just not. Um, Mineral Touch Pressed Powder. This is a powder foundation by Unique. I am in the shade Taffeta. And I use my little brush from Amazon and I set my under eyes with it. This um, powder has really good coverage too. So I just, I like it. I like finishing everything off with it because like if something didn't cover the way I wanted it to, this kind of like gives that extra help in time of need. So now that you guys know we are moving, every day looks so different for me because I just don't know what I'm doing. And we're still, today is, what is today? July 10th. We are moving on August 1st. Big fluffy brush. Pounce it into the skin and we still don't have a house. <laughs> we still have not found a house. Um, we do know we have to be out of this house, so I have to start packing and you know all that good stuff, but it's hard to pack when you don't know where you're going. Um, so I'm kind of like minimalizing and taking everything down to the essentials of what we need for, to live for a month, because I figure even worst case scenario, if we get there and we have to put our stuff in storage and move into an apartment, I can't have that much stuff, so 
and we need to learn to live with us. So that's what I've been doing. So it's like each day I'm like, okay, what can I put away? What don't we need? And you know, we're creatures of habit and creatures of comfort. So it's like, oh, I, I need it all. In fact, um, bronzer, beachfront bronzer by Unique. I'm actually almost out of this and I've been using this one bronzer for like two years. So I kind of want to try something new, although I love this one, so I'm kind of afraid to try something new. Um, so leave in the comments below any bronzer recommendations. I'm thinking of the, what is it, the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. I think I want to try that because I know a lot of people love that one. Um, what was I saying? Moving. Oh, I don't know. Becca. Pa oh, I do know what I was going to say. So even my makeup, I've taken it down to... One blush and highlight palette, uh, two eyeshadow palettes, and just my everyday face makeup. Everything else is already packed up, ready to be moved. So I'm even down to very minimal makeup. I'm gonna use Prosecco, yeah, Prosecco Pop highlighter on the Becca palette. I figured this palette was a good one to leave out because it has I feel like I could do fancy looks with it, but I could also kind of downplay it. Like this is just a good, good blush palette. So that's why it stayed out. Um, and then yeah, just like one of everything else. I'm gonna let that just kind of sit. I like to spray my face at the end and that all just kind of blends in. And if I need to blend it more, I will. I'm gonna do brows. So I'm gonna take Faithful Sports Cream Shadow from Unique and my Brow Artist Brush. I'm gonna do brows. I need to wax my brows right now, like something fierce. So, I hope you guys can't see from this uh, far away. And I'm just gonna do my usual brow thing. I have more, like, talk, talk you through for my brows. I think in my last video. All right, and today I'm gonna do some just basic eye look. Again, I'm going in with this Tartlet and Bloom palette. This is what I used last time, but I really am just liking this for every, every day. So I'm gonna mix these two colors, which are Smarty Pants and Jet Setter on a big fluffy brush. Just mix the two. And fluff it in my crease. I'm doing a super minimal, basic look, no wing, no nothing um, today because, again, I have no idea what the day holds. <laughs> so, well actually I do. We're going to dinner with some friends tonight, so I want to look done, but um, I also might be packing and swimming and, you know, different things like that, so I don't want to do like a full beat face today because of that. So I'm just fluffing that all around, kind of sloppily. And then I'm gonna take a flat brush that I can't currently locate. Right there. Nope, that's not it. And then those same two colors, I'm gonna go ahead and just run that under my waterline. Just to bring some definition to my eye. Right, nice and defined eyes. Um, then, I'm gonna take just a coal black pencil, and if this creeps you out, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna do um, my waterline, both bottom and top. I find if I do it with my eyes closed, it goes a little quicker. And just to add even more definition to my eye. I don't have the best lashes, so I definitely feel like I need some kind of eyeliner every day. Just to really darken them up and bring definition to my eyeball. So 
the bottom and top. And then I'm gonna take that flat brush that I did my lower waterline shadow with and just kind of smudge it even more. If I could find it, why can't I? Okay, found it. Um, and that jet setter color, and I'm just gonna lightly smudge all that guy. Just to make sure it's blended. Kind of gives it that smoky, grungy look too. That we all loved in the 90s and now it's back. And I'm also gonna take this color, what is it called? Smoke Show. It's like a darker brown and I'm just gonna run that along my lash line on the top too. Same thing, just to kind of define my eye without doing too much. And I'm taking it back 90s kid style. The glow and outliner. You guys remember that? Some days I just don't feel like doing the wing. And this is what I do. Because I still need that definition. Still want to look like I've done something. But don't want to do everything. And then I have this tiny little brush that comes in super handy. What is it? It's a Morphe M506. It's like itty bitty. And then I'm gonna take that same color I did on my lash line and just kind of like lightly go in that outer V, like lightly, just to create, again, a little bit of a, you know? A, just on that outer V. You know what this reminds me of? My mom used to do Mary Kay and they used to have these face charts, and this is like almost exactly what they would do on those face charts. Okay, I'm gonna blend it all out with my big fluffy brush. Again, just to make sure it's super blended and soft. And then I'm gonna take my magic eraser brush <laughs> and clean up that line for that mess that I made over here. Kind of go with the shape of my eye and clean that all up. That one. Okay, and this has been my mascara combo the last few weeks, and I'm loving it. So it's the voluminous. L'Oreal Voluminous Primer and then the Voluminous Lash Paradise. So I do two coats of this. I let it dry for like 30 seconds in between and then I go in and do two coats of this. So that's what you're about to see. While the lash primer is drying, I did two coats of that. It's like this milky white color. I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips. So I am just gonna do pouty lip liner. It's just a neutral. I need to sharpen it. Where's my sharpener? There. And then just some gloss over top. It's just a good way to redeem my time while I wait for my Then I'm gonna use Lippy Gloss by Unique. I love this color, it's just such a fun, like, pinky coral. All right, by this point, my lashes should be ready for mascara, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply two coats of the Voluminous, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. All right, so that is done. Um, I want to show you guys. Look at my lashes. Don't mind. Oh, that brown needs to get fixed. But don't. <laughs> my brows are ratchet. But my lashes, you guys. If you guys are like OGs, 
and who used to watch our Glitter with Grace channel, um, these lashes are real good. My brows are not. I need to fix them. But I am going to spray. Because I feel like that just makes everything mush in better. Um, I'm going to fix my brows real quick. Like, because that is not going to do I just need to wax them. Why am I, like, not doing Okay, one more thing I want to do is I want to take some highlight and put it in my inner corner since I'm doing kind of just a plain look. Just want to brighten it up with more awake. I didn't do any shimmer on my eye or anything like that. So just want to do this and then I'm going to blend it. is the makeup and now I'm gonna show you how I do my hair. Alright, so my hair right now is currently in the clip. This is I just washed my hair on Sunday. It is Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday. So it's still fairly clean. I am gonna use some dry shampoo. I use Monate's dry shampoo and I'm just gonna focus it right on my root. This is gonna be my kind of been my go-to hair look lately. Um so I let that kind of sit in for a second, let it take do its job. It smells so good. And then I'm gonna take, I'm gonna do a clear elastic. I'm gonna do a black, just a black rubber band. Um, and I might hide the rubber band or I might just let it be part of the aesthetic of my hair today. So what I've been liking to do is, so obviously it's big, when I blow dry, and style my hair, I back comb it and I give it lots of lift at the root and that kind of just helps me throughout my whole hair um, time. So that's a tip and maybe I could do like a blow dry style with me video. Comment below if you would like that. Um, so then I go, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to look in the mirror. Um, I take from my ear, like my temple and I honestly go like straight up like, like a, um, rainbow right on top of my head because I have short hair so I don't have much to pull from and I still want all this like volume at the back so I do that and then I just finger comb it because I kind of this is like my short hair version of a messy bun because <laughs> it's what I could do so I just finger comb it into place And I do all of it, but I'll show you why. And then I take my rubber band and I roll the band it. Okay. And then I kind of do like the pull down thing. And then I start just pulling pieces. Like I stick my hand in there and pull it forward, kind of loosening the rubber band as I do that. And then tightening it. And then Okay, this part needs to come out. Like no science really, just pull until you're happy with how your poof looks. <laughs> um, loosening the rubber band, tightening the rubber band helps because then it pushes it. And then I take down a lot from the sides because that's going to fall anyway and I just kind of like that like messy, you know, undone. Like, super cute. And then just, I just keep playing with it. Sometimes I'll hairspray it, sometimes I won't, because most of the time I've got a pretty good thing going on without any hairspray. So yeah, there you go. Took me like five seconds. No, I don't know how long. You guys can see. <laughs> so there you go there's my all right guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please click that thumbs up button subscribe click the bell so you're notified every time i post and we will see you in our next video bye guys